Hey there, welcome to another Tableau video. I'm going to show you how to use grand totals and subtotals. Super, super easy. So we're gonna start with a cross tab. So just a regular table. So I'm gonna bring in categories, subcategories. Let's bring in some, maybe we'll go by country, All right? And I'm gonna get rid of some of these just so there's not too many, All right? All right, and I'm gonna go entire view and let's add in, I've been using sales a lot. Let's use, um, Try a discount maybe? Yeah, discount's not a good number. Uh, per, maybe profit per customer? Nah, I don't like that either. Let's try, oh, maybe quantity. That's a good number. Okay, so let's say quantity. And I've got all my values. So this is just a standard table, um, something you can do in Excel. First thing I'm gonna do, just because I'm a little OCD, is I'm gonna change the alignment to center. Ha, ah, that's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> drives me nuts. All right, and I'm just gonna make this in the center, okay? I'm gonna split that a little bit just so subcategory can fit, all right? Okay, hide. All right, so we got this. Now let's say I wanna know the total in Austria. I don't wanna have to click on Austria. I just wanna see it at the bottom. So there's two ways to do this. If you, let's just say close this, you're gonna have your regular view on the left side. If you click on analytics, right? You're going to see totals. If you click and drag this, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Columns, row. Also, if you work at Tableau and you design this stuff, can you please add one saying column and row grand totals? So I don't have to do this twice. Just a little thing. So I can drop this in column grand totals and I've got it there, right? See at the bottom. I can add this to the right side as well, uh, to the rows and I've got it there on the end now as well. All right? Pretty simple. Then if I want to know the totals in the pane, right? I can do totals, subtotals, and that's going to add it in there for me, okay? So now I've got a total in each one. It's that simple. The only problem with this particular method is from here, I can't actually remove the subtotals, right? They're, they're like stuck there. So what you have to do is you have to go analysis, and this is the second method. You analysis, you go totals, and here you can turn them on or off. So show row grand totals turns the rows off, totals, column takes up that one off. And then if you want to get rid of the subtotals, you just go remove all subtotals. Okay. And that brings it back to normal. And that's it, right? Um, the only other thing I will show you is one little thing that can get annoying. So let me bring in the totals again, right? Let's say I add color here, right? I've got this and I want to do color. It should be, it's a way to add your grand totals to the colors. Ah, here we go. So when you go into this menu, you'll see this include totals part here, which I have yet to find a good way to use this, right? Because the problem is, no matter what, your total is always going to be significantly larger than the remaining of your data. So if I go include totals and go apply, it's going to greatly skew it. It's going to make all this basically one color. So it's not really going to provide me much insight, right? So if I change this into like a double color, I mean, it doesn't really show me anything. Whereas if I take that off, that gives me a lot more insight. But again, depends what you want to do. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Just a short one today, and I'll see you next time.